So we had the NVIDIA here, CES 2011, right. and you had a big announcement at the end. Well, yeah, so at the end we talked about what we call Project Denver. It's a project that's been going on in NVIDIA for quite some time, and it is, um, uh, it's a project where we'll build our, uh, in, in, uh, in uh, cooperation with ARM or collaboration with ARM, our own high-performance ARM CPU that will ultimately be put together with a GPU and form the basis for computing solutions that go from you know, supercomputers on down to you know, smaller desktop type of computers. So what is the time frame? What is this kind of, uh, is an announcement that it's coming, but how soon? So the announcement is we, we're working on it, we've been working on it for a while, we've worked, we've collaborated with ARM, we've licensed their architecture, and then what we'll do is we'll come out with, as time goes on, we'll sort of share more information in terms of details of the product and when it'll come out. So last year you unveiled uh, Tegra 2. Correct. So what has been uh, the work that has been going on since then? to optimize things in there, well, so, to release so devices. So clearly getting Tegra 2 uh, designs into production. You saw the LG Optimus 2 phone today. Uh, you saw there was a phone announced uh, by Motorola this morning, their 4G phone. Yeah. That's, that's a Tegra-based phone you can see on our booth tomorrow. Um, there'll be other devices that get announced throughout the week. And so we've been sort of feverishly getting those devices to production. And then at the same time, we're obviously working on Tiger 3 and Tiger 4. But was that hardware issues or software mostly like uh, focusing on like to get products out? Well, so we're going to have products in the market, phones, a year after we showed the product. <laughs> that's, uh, that's sort of speed of light for the cell phone business. So it's extremely rapid. Uh, so it's all about working with our customers. They do their own software, their own solutions, their own industrial designs. But in terms of how quickly we've gotten phones to market, it's been... It's been amazingly fast. So what could you say to uh, the people look, looking forward to the arm powered uh, uh, laptops? Like for example, there's a Toshiba AC100, it's in Europe. Uh, they can look forward to some advancements in uh, well, so solutions there? so I think there. clearly Tegra 2 has the, the graphics and the processing capability and all the necessary IOs to be able to go off and do large displays. What people decide to do it if they want to build devices with touch screens, with with keyboards, whatever they want to do. We're seeing all kinds of really interesting devices come out, and we'll see that over throughout this year. Are there different grades of Tegra 2 announced, or is it just like one standard Tegra 2? Well, so there's Tegra 2 that's targeted at, at uh, super phones, and there's Tegra 2 that's targeted at larger display devices. So those have different... Uh, uh, they have different uh, IOs. Um, <laughs> they, have, uh, they have different um, display resolutions they support. There's variations. And so the, the newer phone one is a newer... No, it's a, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a Tegra 2, four phones. It's a 12 by 12 pop part, yeah. um, you does, know, super low power. Does it have the same graphics as the first Tegra 2? Yes, it does. All right. So all the, the Unreal 2, Unreal Engine are going to be in Android, actually. Is that what you showed today? So you saw, what you saw was literally a super phone doing, um, you know, console quality game kinds of things today. Um, that's the graphics that people can put in a handset they can put in their pocket. All right. So uh, at CES, it's going to be fun to see the software solutions if they start to arrive for some of the like the big tablets and all that. So really, it's going to be a big market like, it, like it's is, being announced for. This is going to be a great year. We're looking forward to some amazing devices. We've seen some of them here. You'll see more of them throughout CES and throughout the year. All right. Thanks.